Okay, but was is back, guys. Um, I'm sorry about uh, the network. Okay, so um, but we can continue. So just uh, let me share the question again for just. So we're having uh, saying Alex and Bonnie, um, two employees who are paid on an hourly rate of 1,200 per hour. So that's the rate. And they're saying the standard time of producing a unit being 30 minutes. So this implies that for every unit you're having 30 minutes standard. And then they're saying during um, a week period, Alex produced 100 units in 40 hours. Well, Bonnie produced 130 units in 60 hours. And we say that uh, when you summarize that information, what you have in the end will be this. Okay. I hope uh, you can see what I've shared. That we had a standard. Okay. This is a standard which says that uh, for one unit, you need to use 30. Sorry, for one, yeah, one unit, you need, you need to use 30 minutes. And then uh, Alex and Bonnie accordingly produced uh, these units, and this is the time it took to produce those, and the rate is this. Okay, so we won't start on the equation. Okay, so guys, uh, I hope you can see me, and uh, I hope you can hear me as well. Did I say see me? You know, you can hear me, and you can see my screen. So we're going to start, right? So we all know that. Um, when you talk about schemes, uh, we have bonus schemes specifically. Okay, whenever they give you our rate, okay, here they're talking about um, what they call the rate, time rate basis, time rate basis. So they're talking about okay. And I remember telling you that for time rate, we are using you you. Uh, pay based on the hours taken. And of course, attaching the rate that you agreed upon. If you said you're paying him, uh, in this case, 1,200 per hour, meaning that if he has worked for eight hours, you're supposed to pay him his uh, eight times 1,200 for the eight hours he has worked. Okay. So uh, having said that, then back to the bonus schemes. Bonus schemes, we have, um, I'll have this guy. It's called as a premium scheme. Okay, that's one of the schemes. Then you have the where bonus scheme. And then you have the one. Okay. So these individuals, um, okay, if you want to just remove this. Okay. These individuals came up with um, with their way of thinking, especially regarding the bonus payment. And they say that, uh, if I may just put it here, the way they believe in their bonuses, uh, for Hasley, the guy says that we pay 50%, okay? Let me use uh, uh, thingies. Let me use fractions. Okay, the guy pays a half. Uh, for where the guy pays a third. Okay. Okay, yes, so uh, if you excuse me, need fractions. Okay, so this guy said need a third. Then for this one, the guy says you look at the time uh, taken divided by the, the time taken. No, it's time saved. Time saved divided by um, time taken. So this is how they charge their bonuses. That um, on the bonus that you get, remember the bonus is usually the excess, really. Okay, if I mean just talk about the bonus briefly. The real bonus is supposed to be the excess of what you've worked, uh, what you're calling time saved. Time saved times 
uh, the rate or the hourly rate. Okay, it's the same for all these others. But on this particular bonus, uh, as it says, you only qualify for a half of it. Okay. Then um, where it says you qualify for that. Then this guy says you qualify for the time that you have actually saved and the time taken. I need to think about this one. I don't think I'm right. Kindly confirm, guys, for one. The time saved over time taken, or it is something else? Um, I'm really skeptical on this one. I don't think it is right. Okay, my uh, Excel is now misbehaving. Mm -hmm. uh, can you confirm with me? Time taken out of time allowed. Okay, sure. Okay, time taken out of time allowed. Is it time taken of time allowed or time allowed over time taken? I think it's time allowed over time taken. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Time taken over time allowed. Okay. So of course now uh you're seeing me hustling or gambling with the this particular one. Okay. This should give you something a lesson to learn. That these rates, it's something that you either know or you don't. They don't have anything to think about. Okay. If you don't know, they're supposed to have a half or fifty percent, how they call it. If you don't know, they're supposed to have a third here, or what they call thirty thirty percent. Okay. They use thirty percent. I don't know why, but uh, that's why I prefer using the fraction because it's totally different from the thirty percent. Okay. Then. Um, Time taken over time allowed. If you don't know that this is what they're talking about, then you have no chance eh? on this number. Uh, guys, guys, I know, I know what you're thinking, and uh, I don't think I've changed anything. Time taken, time saved. Uh, okay, now guys. All right, but I think the right thing is time taken over time allowed. Okay, so let's go back to the information and apply our schemes, right? So for you to determine uh, what time was saved, okay, Shakira, I saw your, your method, yeah? And the methods are the same. The only thing is that person I'm saying, I still have my fractions first. Then on their fractions, I'm going to attach that uh, bonus payment, which is uh, time saved times the rate. Okay, so Shakira, the formula is the same, but I'm saying first appreciate the forward things, the ones in front, the ones that differ. The ones that make the difference. They are half, they are third, and this time taken over time allowed. Then when you have these fractions, we multiply them by the time saved times the rate. Okay, what I'm trying to call the bonus. But um, we shall see how we do this. Now, I was still saying, for you to determine the time saved, you must know the time or what you call the standard time. Okay, the time that you were supposed to work is what you're supposed to first find. Now, uh, if you allow me to just borrow this, I put them down. Okay, you have to just do the continuation of my table. Okay, so here I'll try to get the standard time. Okay, and I want to put it in hours. But uh, I usually prefer changing it to smaller units. But uh, since since what since our rate is in um, hours, then I'm forced to change my minutes to hours. Okay. So we have a time standard time in hours. So this one is supposed to be computed because you don't know it. Okay. So we're saying for Alex and the rest, they're supposed to use. Uh, for one unit, it's supposed to use 30 uh, minutes. Okay, what I have are units, okay? But I don't have the time that they have taken or that they should have taken, All right? So it's what they're going to compute, time taken. Okay, uh, Esther, I, I don't know how you guys mastered your own formulas, okay? And I, I really want to say that I, I'm not complaining, I'm not saying that you're wrong. Okay, but what I'm saying is that I'm also correct, as you're going to see how we apply this. Okay, so uh, allow me continue with uh, 
standard time. So for you to get standard time for Alex, there are four. Uh, you can use simple English, the math English, or the, the well, you just say that um, my one unit. One unit uh, needs 30 minutes. Okay, and I'm saying I want to convert 30 minutes to hours, so that will be a half. It needs a half hours. How do I mean by that? We're saying here, we're saying that uh, 60 minutes, I want to be it organized. I can arrange it. Um, okay. So if I get there, let's first do the minute thing. We're saying 60 minutes, okay, uh, equal to one hour. Okay, we all know that. We're trying to convert minutes to hours. And we're saying 30 minutes, which was the standard. Okay, before we go to 30 minutes, let's say one minute. One minute should be equivalent to, therefore, one divided by 60 hours. Okay. With that, I think we all agree. Then uh, 30 minutes shall be equal to one divided by 60 times 30. Okay. This should be hours. I think the answer here is a half. hours so i'm trying to make my time standard eh? since they are all hours around now i go to my units what i was expected to have so we're saying this statement here i'll just bring it here okay this statement means that one unit one yes one unit takes one and a half hours, not one and, but a half hours. Okay. Takes uh, thingy, one hour, a uh, half hours to produce. Yes. Okay. Uh, where is the 30 minutes coming from? It's coming from the standard. Okay. They say that uh, the standard time allowed is that for one unit, you're supposed to produce uh, 30, sorry, for 30 seconds. For 30 minutes, you're supposed to produce one unit. Okay, it was given in the question. If I may just take you there for those for clarity for those who are wondering where I'm getting it from. Okay, this part here, just after the rate, they say that with a standard time of producing a unit, okay, I'm saying one unit being 30 minutes. Okay. So I hope uh, we're clear on that. So if I go back to the question. So we're saying, um, so one unit takes me one and a half, okay? So we're saying now, Alex, who produced 100 units, how much time should he have spent standard? Okay, so we're saying uh, this guy is 100 units, uh, I should do, or oh, we'll take one divided by two, to calling a half times the number of units that he has produced. This will give me hours. Okay, I'm saying this is um, 50. Okay, half of 100 is 50. So he's supposed to have spent 50 hours in production. That's Alex for you. Then for Bonnie, so we can just borrow from this. Okay. For Bonnie, it's 130. So 130 is as is as getting half. Okay. Can okay, put it here. So still same statement. We're saying one unit takes that. So it means that for Bonnie, it's going to take uh, 130. 130 units will take a half times 130. Hours. Of um, half of that to be I think uh, sixty-five hours. So the guy's standard time is supposed to be sixty-five. It'll be sixty-five. Okay, but this is what happened. That uh, the actual time it was taken was just forty and sixty. So and this brings you to the issue of what you called uh time saved. Where is it? Here, the bonus time saved 
Okay, so we can look at uh, how much time they saved by saying time saved. Uh, for Bonnie, for Alex, sorry, they saying he was supposed to use 50, but he used 40, hence he saved 10, right? And you're saying for Bonnie, he used 65, sorry, he used 60, and he should have used 65. So he has saved five. So this is the time saved. So accordingly, now we apply uh, our vision. I thought we are going to apply 30 times 60 to be 280 hours. Uh, um, okay, Musa. Davison, what you have to know is, eh? that um, minutes are less than hours. What do I mean? You need, you need more minutes to make one hour. So if you put that back at uh, the back of your mind, by the way, that's, that's a trick. When you're converting from big units to small units, we multiply. When you're converting from small to big, you divide. And the reason is clear, that an equivalent of a big uh, item is a lot. Yet an equivalent of a, a small item is what? Is um, equally small or very small. Okay, so I hope I've not uh, tried to, okay, good. So now let's go to our payments. So we're saying for basic salary, therefore for basic salary, we, we know that these are, uh, the schemes here, they still give you the basic payment and then the bonus. So the basic payment is constant, but usually the difference comes with the bonus. Okay, so for the basic, it's uh, on standard time. Okay, that we shall say this is equal to the standard that is supposed to take, which is uh, 50, right? Is it on the 50? No, 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 it's on the time taken. Okay, then times, um, where's my red? 1,200 here it is, okay? That will be the basic payment. Okay, remember time rate, we, we, we look at the time taken, the time you've spent on the duties, then times the rate. So basically we cannot pay you on the standard because you didn't spend the entire 50 there, but you only spent 40. So we pay you only for the time that you've taken, okay? So therefore for basic, we say 48, sorry, we say the 40 time taken times the rate, which is uh, 1,200. So you do the same for a bony. They're saying time saved, not time saved, but rather time taken was 60 times the rate, which is 1,200. So this one is standard for all, right? Now we can look at their bonuses, all oh, the bonus. So if I if I may come here, I hope um, I'm not very disorganized. Okay, I hope you can follow. So if I if I may come here. So I'm saying, I'm going to get their bonuses, okay? And then accordingly apply the fraction that I'm supposed to apply. And I'm saying for Hasley, we're saying the time saved is five. Sorry, uh, for Alex in this case, it is 10, all right? Then times, how much, what was the rate? 1,200, okay? This is what you would have gotten if uh, one of fractions are attached. But since their fractions are attached, we're saying it's supposed to get only half of that. Okay, somebody said, uh, but I know it's supposed to be, is it a half times time saved? Of course, time saved is the same as um, standard time minus time taken. I'm taking then times the rate, okay? Someone wants to use this formula. I'm saying it is fine, okay? It is fine. Then let's go to aware. We're still, okay, I've, I've done just for one person. I'm supposed to do for all these guys. So uh, Esther and Shakira, I hope I've answered you regarding your fractions and your methods, okay? Don't want to be confused by what I have here. So I'm saying this guy is Alex. Okay, let it be some bit. 
Then let's look at uh, Bonnie. Okay. Then for Bonnie, still we are saying the time. Okay, this is supposed to be the bonus. Okay, Alex is bonus that. Then bonus 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 is going to be like this. That um, what was um, time saved is five. Okay, times the rate at which it's supposed to be received, which is one thousand two hundred. Okay, but it's supposed to take only a fraction of that or a half of that. Hence, this a half times the total bonus that you should have gotten. Okay, so that is bonus for you, and that is our sleep premium, All right? So let's look at the where. For where we're saying it's a third, nothing has changed really. This very time saved thing still applies. We are saying you have a uh, time saved, which is uh, 10, as far as Alex is concerned, what was the rate? It is 1,200. So I'm apply that with the fraction, which is a third, hence a third times what you're supposed to get is going to get only that. So guys, unless you have any questions, for bonus it's supposed to be the same, because you're saying it's time saved, which is five, then 1,200, which is third, it's supposed to just take a third of the fraction, okay? A third of the amount. So that is their bonus. And then for this one, for row one, you're saying it's time taken over time saved. That's now the fraction, okay? So if I just get the fractions here, there are for, for Alex, okay, it's, it's Bonnie. Fractions. Time taken for um, Alex was 60, sorry, 40, okay? And the standard time that you should have taken is 50, what you're calling the time allowed, okay? So you're supposed to have that, let me put it into fractions. Okay, someone has her, his or her video on, kindly remove it. Okay, so this will be the fraction. Then for Bonnie, you're saying it is time taken, which is 60, divided by the standard, which is 65. Okay, and this fraction for him, it will be uh, fractions, saying one, it can't be one. Okay, this is taking forever. Let me use the decimals. Okay, kindly let me use this. But it's supposed to be fraction. It's supposed to be 60 out of 65. Okay. Then you apply the bonus part, and the bonus is still the same 12,000 all throughout. So this is 12,000 for Alex. Okay. So uh, the fraction times that it will give me this. Okay, and then for Bonnie, we're saying still time saved, still five times the rate, which is still that, it will give us a fraction times this, it will give me that, okay? And then accordingly apply, you add the bonuses, you bring the basic salaries here, basic salaries, 